Okay, so we're going to start taking a look at the solos here in Satch Boogie. Uh, let me explain really quickly how the solo sections are laid out. Um, there's basically, I'm kind of looking at them as two solo sections in this song. Um, they both work over, there's an A blue shuffle, a D blue shuffle, then an F sharp blue shuffle. Okay, so over those that chord sequence over the A and then the D and then the F sharp over that chord sequence once. That's one, that's the first solo. And then he goes through those exact same uh, harmonic structure again and that will be the solo number two. So this first solo is going to break it down into uh, we'll have it over this A section and then um, a D section and an F sharp section. All right, so we're going to start here with the A section and it starts with, he does this thing with his, his uh, tremolo bar, which is impossible to do on this guitar. Um, and if you don't have your guitar set up properly for it, your tremolo bar actually has to be kind of bent, is be a lot lower. But he kind of pulls it down more and gets it level with the string, hits it while it's on a string, hits it, and then releases it. So it takes, so the bar is actually playing the harmonic on the string. Um, so you can recreate that by doing, you can not, maybe one, he's not exact with it every time anyway, he just creates that effect with this, his, his uh, trim bar. So you can do whatever you want, just dig into some notes or whatever to start that song. But this starts, that's what's going on, that he's taking his trim bar, just dive bombing till the strings are slack, letting the bar lean against the string, then picking it and then raising it up. Um, you'll hear him do that a couple times in a song, and what I like to do is just kind of, you know, kind of make up for it down here and try to match the pitch. All right, so after that little intro on harmonic, we have this little. All right, so that's the whole A section. So let's take a look at that slowly. We're gonna start with a, a, a double stop here between, uh, which is two notes together, the second and uh, the B string and the G string together at the fifth fret. Then come down to the D string and you're gonna go seven, five, seven. And you're gonna hear him digging in like that and getting those harmonics in the strings, those, those pinch harmonics. Then come over and hit a harmonic at the 5th fret on the G string. Come back down to the 4th string, the D string, and hit that 7th fret twice. Then go 5, 7. So slowly we have this. Alright, then we have this little phrase. What's going on there? We have a slow bend at the 8th fret on the B string. Then grab the A, on uh, the 5th fret on the E string. Back down to 7 on the B. Then to 8 on the high E string. Back to 7 on the B. Then back to five on the high E. They're going to do a quick little lick. It's going to be a seven pulled off to five on the high E. Come over and grab eight on the B string. And go back to that fifth fret on the on the uh, first string. So we got this. Then roll your first finger, the tip of it, over to the, which is at the 5th fret right now on the high E. Roll it over to the 5th fret on the B. Play that and play, then play 8 on the B. Sorry. Alright. So after that phrase, we have this. 
little standard blues lick. So it's a whole step bend at the seventh fret on the G string. Then after that bend, you grab the uh, fifth fret on the uh, high E string, and then pull eight to five on the B string. Then do the whole step bend at the seventh fret on the G string again. Then play the fifth fret on the B string. Then you're gonna come down, you're gonna pull off eight, seven, five. Then come down to the, um, that's on the G string, and then on the D string, you're gonna go seven, five, zero. So from that second bend, no, uh, seven. Then you're gonna grab the fifth fret on the G string, and then seven on the fourth. So all together from those bends. Kind of hit that twice at the fifth fret there. Do you want to come back and do this little? Now what's going on there? You're hitting harmonics on each one of those notes in your. You got the third fret on the A string. Hit a little harmonic on. You kind of just dig into the note. Find those harmonics wherever they're at on your guitar. Doesn't have to be exact. And then pull off to the open string. Then do the same thing at the fifth fret. So we got. And do that four times. Okay, then we come back to this, we shift up quickly to this A, I mean, I'm sorry, the C on the uh, G string, it's at the 5th fret, then down to the A, 7, 5, 7. Then do a quick slide from 5 to 7. So we got this. Then you're gonna do, so that is, hit the five twice on the D, come over and hit that uh, 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 double stop again at the second and third string, and then down to the seven on the D. So that's the last little phrase we have here in the uh, on the over the A section, so that just that holds that bend on the third uh, string, seventh fret, then five on the B, five on the E. Do that three times. Then do a whole step bend at the eighth fret on the high E. Then a slight bend again, uh, hitting the. Eight again, and then we're gonna have five on the high E, then a slight bend on the A string, on the uh, eight on the B string, back to that fifth fret on the high E. Roll over to the B uh, string on that fifth fret and play five eight. Then you grab this C, which is uh, on the um, fifth fret on the G string. Hold it slightly. You got some harmonics on that. And then pull off to the open G. Come over to the D, uh, D string, fifth fret, and, and pull off five to zero on that one as well. And then play three on the fifth string and six. I'm sorry, five on the low E. All right, now we've made it to the F sharp section, which is uh, half the length of uh, the A section. Oh, no, sorry, not, the, not the F sharp section, the D section.
Oh, sorry, one more time. <laughs> All right, it's pretty short. So we have 14th fret, half step bends, kind of three of them bending and release at the, on the high E string, 14th fret. Then you're gonna go, uh, that's an A minor triad. It's gonna be 12 on the high E, 13 on the B, 14 on the G. Then 12, staying on the G string, 12 slide to 11. Then come to your the, the D string, 12th fret, and you're gonna do a quick little roll. You're gonna play the 12, and then roll to the 12 on the uh, G string, and then back down to the G, uh, the D, the 12th fret on the D string. Then slide that down two frets to this to the uh, 10th fret. So all together. Then we're going to do some, hand, some pull offs. We're going to come to the 12th fret here on the D string, pull off to the open string. And then you're going to pick 9 and pull off to the open. All on the D string, then 7 pull off to the open. 5 pull off to the open. And then 4 pull off to the open. Then you're going to grab another harmonic here, the fifth fret, and do some the, the big bend. He does it, so he basically does it twice there. Um, some big harmonics. I did do a quick little slide up the string, and then we're going to have this. And that is just five four pulling off to zero each time on the D string. See that? And then come to five on the fifth string, pull off to zero. And then three, pull off. And then do that three again, pull off. Then pick three again. And slide to the fifth. All together, that A section, I mean, I'm sorry, the D section. All right, now we've made it to the F sharp section. And this is going to start with some kind of a random pick slide, but then you're going to have. little legato phrase. All right, so what's going on there? It's kind of a signature Satriani leg here. We're going to start at the F sharp on the low E string at the second fret. Slide up to fourth fret. Then hammer on five and seven. He's using the F sharp minor scale here. And then you're going to come over here and go four, five, seven on this string, on the uh, A string. Then pull back down off to that four. Then slide up to five, hammer on seven and nine. So we took that first finger when we when we made it back down to that first finger. Slide, shift that up. Just slide up to the fifth, then hammer seven and nine. Still on the A string. The only note that you're going to pick is the first note on each string. So you'll pick this low, then that note. Then you're going to continue on the fourth string, hammering, picking the six, then hammering seven, nine, and sliding to eleven with your pinky. So we have... Then we have some big harmonics again, which he's doing with his bar, but um, I, you can kind of recreate the notes if you do a 
the big bend on the D string, uh, the on the D note, sorry, at the seventh fret on the G string. Uh, and just find the right harmonic, but like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. And then we're going to end this uh, first solo with this little phrase. That's a slow bend at the fifth fret on the B string. Then grab the note he was basically bending to. On the second fret, high E, roll to the second fret on the B, then play the fifth fret on the high E. Then we're going to play the fifth fret on the B string once again, then 2-5-2 two, two on the high E. So all together. Then roll back to the B string, 2nd fret, and play 2 to 5. Then the 3rd fret, 3rd string, I'm sorry, the G string, we're going to have a whole, whole step bent and release, pull off to the 2nd fret. Then come over to the D string, play the 4th fret and pull off to the open string. And then come back to the third string and do two, four, two. Lots of harmonics, lots of artificial harmonics being played on these notes. He's really digging in. So that last phrase all together. All right, and that's the end of the first solo section.